тобой, забывай, что с тобой, как зовут бумагу эту. day after the limestone race weekend half marathon uh, just wrapping things up getting out today I get the legs moving a little bit but no as as you probably saw it was a really good day yesterday pretty much as much as I could hope for um, preparation going into it was a bit unusual had only two three weeks of good training in and then the month prior to that was was fasting as well which is a bit of a new experience with the running going on as well but oh, see, I have, that was kind of fun it was kind of cool a new little different challenge there but no things yesterday went very smooth I ran the same race it was 2019 one of my first races and that was a yeah, half marathon same place Kingston but um, I think there I ran a 143 uh, I think that was the last time I've actually raced a half marathon distance and so Hoping for a little bit of a PB yesterday and you know going into it I figured okay you know best case scenario I'll probably hope for around 140 um, but the race itself actually had a pacer and so they had someone tracking down at 135 and I thought all right you know let me try and set out with them see how long I can hold on for and then you know worse comes worse maybe end up around 140 anyways so stuck out with them and uh, I know it's fun. I usually, mostly most of the races I end up going and I, you find pockets where you're running by yourself. So this is a bit of a change of pace and then it was nice. Had a good group of distance, one kilometer, like four or five time, six minutes, runners 11 there seconds. where we're all just pretty much together up until at least I said 15, 16 K mark. Um, I know things are, things are feeling pretty good. Um, it was really up until like I said the 17, 18 K mark where we sort of so splitting off a bit but you no know, all in all I think I finished 133 something 19 you can see it here anyways uh, but no it was like it's a big almost pretty much a 10 minute PB for me so I was uh, over the moon with that but oh, the good stuff there rain held off that morning pretty much an hour after we finished sorry pouring so conditions were ultimately ideal it was maybe 10 12 degrees overcast the whole time and so felt good mayflies held off by and large so it's good and then uh no a fun little fun experience anyways had a few friends who was running their half marathon debuts both crashed it and then yeah i'm just saying actual race performance wise um yeah no i saved a little bit for the end there and I mean, you might be able to see it from the end of the one clip there, but I made quite a kick at the end, and I was, uh, I caught one of the guys who was in that group with us, at the pacer, and then at the very, right at the line, I looked at it after the fact, I, he beat me, or I, like I didn't catch him by three one hundredths of a second, so that's gonna bother me, but, <laughs> no, I think that's something I've gotta dial in, is really when to kick on that last little bit of you know, put the afterburners on there. I think I've usually got a little bit left, and so I think for this race, I've already kicked them on around six, seven hundred meters left. I really started to gas it out, but based on what I can tell, I probably should have gone sooner. But uh, you know, all in all, can't complain. I think there were 250 people almost came up with the half marathon, but no, things are good. That's in the books. Um, I just gotta try and build off that. I think uh, if I can keep on the good sort of big pace trajectory I've been on, uh, I've got a couple other small, I think that's probably the longest race or event I'll have all season or all summer, um, but a couple other island races around around the area, so smaller, 5, 8, 10k, so those will be enjoyable and fun, I'm um, working on some more speed stuff there, but just trying to clock my mileage, but no, recapping, 
good weekend. I think I was 31st overall, seventh in my age category, but just a big improvement from a few years back. So that's always a it's always a, a positive sign. So happy to see that. But no, now I just gotta string them along. The big uh, big target is Chicago in October, weekend of Canadian Thanksgiving. So I'm lucky enough to have a bit there. So really, I just gotta try, try and push and. I think I have definitely a potential for a bigger, much bigger PR in the marathon there. I ran Toronto last fall, not in the best shape, but finished in four hours and 18. So really hoping to shave off. If I can't close to an hour there, it would be a big step forward. So that's the next plan. In the meantime, just more of this, living it up, living it up. Yeah, even from I forgot to mention, lots of things could have gone wrong there. Coming into the weekend, drove from out of town the night before, getting my stuff ready. And what do you know? Headphones gone. That was that was a blow. That one hurt. No, it's the same headphones I used last couple years. So luckily, little sis had her AirPods, and those uh, I was a bit worried they might slip out, but. No, that was one crisis averted. Uh, so I got the most of that playlist. And even the race of four, I had my sister coming around, taking some videos and sort of carrying stuff before I hit the start line and almost forgot the gels. I had them in the bag. I asked her to remind me and then you know, I was just about to walk up. I'm like, oh, my pockets feel a bit light. Got those well needed. I, I brought two. You got to take one every 40, 45 minutes only really took one and then didn't, didn't really feel the need for the second one maybe I should have who knows but uh, yeah so all things considered things went smooth the yeah the lungs of breathing was pretty solid it was mostly just the legs it was a faster pace and I've really run for that for more sustained distance in quite some time but uh happy to know so I have a bit of those kick that have that uh that long burn in and so just gotta get more more distance more mileage in the rest of the day it was a uh, was a blur i think i we got, got some food went home took a nice solid nap watched some hoops Himmy butler for the win um and yeah took it easy drove back for work in the early am oh hello what is that wild turkey well, good thing it's time for me to turn around. Two and a half KM, so... Interesting. But no. Can't complain. But yeah, that'll wrap it up. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah. Hopefully, warmer weather on the way. So we get some, some more stuff in, but... Till next time! Well, that was good timing. It is hailing apparently. Fun.